Hey everyone, this is Eric with VBAHowTo.com with another action pack video. Today's video is on how to create dynamic combo boxes in Access. So, for starters, I mean, we're here we have Ward and here we have Room. These are dynamic combo boxes because they keep changing. Whatever I change, if I change a Ward. I'm getting different rooms for the for the ward. So ward number one, I get different. So this whole video is on how to create these dynamic uh, combo boxes, um, and I'm going to take you through it. If you want the code for this, come on out to vahowto.com. Click down there in the description box below, and I will have the have the link to the database you can go download it and you can see some examples on the on the screen if you need to also make sure that if you like the video like and sub subscribe to the channel and like the video we'd like to get this video up to four likes so if that's possible i know that you can click down there below so anyway um again here I have wards and rooms. Basically, it's really, really simple. I have tape, TBL wards and and the the table structure WID. I just prefix it with WW w name. Just as know that okay, it's coming from the wards table. And TBL rooms is the is a rooms table. I have all my rooms. And what ward they belong to. So I have an index of what ward they are. So whenever I click on this, it basically it requeries the the checkbox, the rooms combo box, and it requeries base. It selects based on whatever the ward is, whatever the ward ID is. So when I select this, it's ID number one. Okay, prove to you that ID one, and if I look at rooms here, the room ID, room ward one, I have the number one, and then if I click down here, I have ward no, oh, and this one, so I have ward number three. So if I click on Ward 3, I get rooms that belong to that ward. And then when I click the button, Room Selection, Ward 3, Red Room. So and here's practically how you use it. Okay, that's the reason why this box is here for no other reason. Just to show you that. Uh, just, to, just to see what I selected here. Ward 2, uh, Water Room, click the button, and Ward 2, Water Room. And what happens behind the scenes, alternate F11, and it's on my other screen, so I'm going to drag it and drop it over here. I don't want the media window. I'm going to go ahead and move it down. All right. So as you can see, I'm using the after update. So whenever the combo box the after update event fires and then it requeries the the lower one so i'm using the event from this after update okay after update fires bang and now the bottom one this room uh combo box requires itself if i do this if i choose war two <clears throat> after update fires and it requeries the bottom requeries the bottom and I could put a requery call a clause in here and I didn't so anyway you could do that if you want now if I I'm, I'm just uh, requiring the row source okay me dot select all from TBL rooms where ward ID equals whatever the word I'm passing to it and then I'm setting the row source equal to. I don't need to set the row source type because it already knows 
I've already said it one time, so it never changes its table or query resource. And then the whenever I click the button, message box ward. Uh, what you need to put this in because the col you need to say what column it is because if you have column zero and one, column zero, it's zero base index. So column zero is the the numeric value. Column one is the text value. Well, I'm hiding one and I'm showing number uh, hiding zero and I'm showing number one. And the same goes with this one. If you did want to see what I'm talking about here, if I go back here, let's say design view, and hopefully, okay, it does. Good. So here, uh, going here. Uh, click the wrong button uh, so I'm here oh properties are here, way over here again the you could download this database at VBA how to.com okay so here here's really the essence all the important stuff so for both these for the combo boxes then we'll find out well how do you make the combo boxes look look correctly okay combo some of y'all may know this some of you may not so that's okay uh column count two column widths zero and two zero and two so hide the first one show me the second one and then i like to have the list width be the sum of the column widths if I and by default it's set to auto and that doesn't always it seems like automatically one, which is always too small. So I like to change it to uh, be be a lot bigger. So uh, I like to make it the, the sum of whatever the column widths are. That's pretty much uh, all all my settings here. I leave everything else correctly the same. Alrighty, so that's about all, and uh, thanks for watching, and make sure you come out to vbahowto.com, click down there in the link below, and you'll be able to get the database and further explanation. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the like button. We'd like to get this video, like I said, up to four likes. So, thanks. Bye.